Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching my session today. Am I lazy or efficient? Using APIs to make your life easier. I'm Eric Pilko, the leader of systems engineering for the Upstate New York public sector team here at Cisco. I graduated from Rochester Institute of Technology with a master's degree in computer science. That degree made me realize I never wanted to write code for a living, but it has certainly come in handy lately. I wanted to do a quick session on whether I'm lazy or efficient. I like to do many different things that keep me pretty busy and occupied. One way I'm able to do that is by automating simple yet repetitive tasks. Who wouldn't want to do that? This little project started at the beginning of the pandemic. The only place I could set up a home office was in my basement. Basements are great in the summer because they stay cooler than the rest of the house. The downside is that in the winter, they are also cooler than the rest of the house. I decided to reuse my noisy 31-year-old space heater to keep my home office warm. I kept it under the desk by my feet. Because the heater was so noisy, it had to be off during all my calls. The problem I had was that sometimes I forgot to turn the heater off when a call came in. I would then have to have this awkward moment where I had to disappear under my desk, turn the heater off, and I would pop back into view. Sometimes I forgot to turn the heater back on because my feet were freezing. So I automated that process. And then I orchestrated it. I think it's a great example of efficiency. The first thing I had to do was round up some hardware. I had the heater, I had a Raspberry Pi. I used that to run Nginx, Flask, and Python. I also had a WebEx endpoint. The only thing I needed was a plug that had network capabilities and an API. I selected the Casa HS105 and it has worked out great. The next thing I did was create a button on the WebEx board with the UI extensions web interface. This is what the exported XML looks like for the toggle heater button. The important piece of information here is the panel ID, CASA. The WebEx board passes that information to a macro that I wrote. After I created that button, the macro that I wrote for the board would send a message to the Pi when the toggle heater button was pressed. I wrote a few lines of JavaScript for that, and it looks for the CASA panel event, and then the board sends a message to the Pi. I did that through the send message function I wrote to add all the appropriate HTML headers for that message. The hard part was on the Pi. I was already using Nginx for some other web services I was hosting, so I just had to create a location to proxy requests to my Flask app. The app basically checked the power state of the plug and then flipped it. This worked out great. Just like when I forgot to manually turn the heater on and off, I also sometimes forgot to turn the heater on and off with the button. That's why I needed some orchestration. I looked at the WebEx APIs and found that I could send X feedback events for calls. I added a little code in the macro to forward those messages to the Pi. When a call was answered, the heater would turn off. When a call ended, the heater turned on. That was fantastic, unless the heater was off at the beginning of a call, or it turned, I turned it on in the middle of a call because my feet got cold. The best place to keep track of the heater state was on the Pi. I added some variables to keep track of the plug state and call status. With that little bit of extra logic, I could make sure the heater returned or stayed at the correct power state. Life was grand. I was so efficient or lazy that I didn't have to touch anything to control the heater when I was on a call. The last thing that happened was that I had to undo all that orchestration. With another kid off to college, I was able to move my home office to a warmer room. Also, Cisco acquired Babel Labs, and the AI in there was able to remove all the sounds from that noisy heater. I now toggle the heater whenever I want without negatively impacting the audio in any of my calls. Thank you.